we got ourselves BD over on the team one with Fractal gonna be first up. Can I'm returning it back? Oh, as a marksmanship hunter too fast as a shadow priest and mock them as well with Fractal trying to see if you can search for who is gonna be the first competitor. Looks like everybody on team one with kiosk and tags. We got ourselves gamer, we got ourselves Yasha all chilling back. So then you only must mean that it has to be a rogue as he goes in with the sap versus Fractal. Yet another sap. Gouge said, cheap shot, trying to go for big damage. Doesn't get himself the big one shot. It's gonna be all the time. Looks like the rogue backs up out of there. Actually burns in one dance, but doesn't really want to commit quite a lot of cooldowns yet. Getting the shot to follow, but it's gonna be a blink right after breath. That's for Jessica trying to see. Oh, for Risa trying to see if he can stay on a big sack. Secret technique does a lot of damn. Fractal does get to knock him back though for just a moment. Try to get himself defenses in case the rogue get back in there. It's gonna be Ark and Orb. Oh my you. Dude, this man knows where these rogues are. His brain is expanding. His intellect buff is bugged. It's giving him five times more intellect. This man knows exactly where this rogue is at. Big damage on the fractal. This is going to be enough though. Fractal tried to go for a poly, but recent does not go for a bit of a recent. Could go for a vanish here. Cloak of Shadows. There goes the cloak. As Fractal does pop all of his cooldowns, may have to go all the time a little bit early. Potentially Ice Block, knocking the rogue back as they go for a Shadows up. Swap it to wrong person, gonna be missiles to follow. Venrisa is gonna go for a little bit of survivability, try to keep himself afloat here. Arcan Orb to follow, kid a shot, can't go anywhere. Gonna be a trinket to follow right after. Secret Technique does get him super, super low with a reset for Venrisa immediately. With the Arcan Orb putting him out in the open, Polly right after for Fractal. Does go for the interrupt, may just be in a bad spot, Ice Block. Breath, oh my god, that breath was so lucky. That breath was so lucky. My god, he was no help whatsoever. Oh my, I think he realized like, wait, that was the wrong global to press, but thank goodness I'm not dead. <laughs> Sap or the fractal does have himself a blink for that first cheap shot, knocking back the rogue, but not super far. It does get a pretty good slow with an ult time pretty early on. Polly to follow. And Risa does not have a vanish. Now gets one. Book shot is very, very soon. Does go for a trick and Ben's gonna be just trying to see if he can stay on top of Fractal. Interrupting him on his go. Blink off of that kid shot. But Risa does have himself the cloak of shadows. As Fractal does go for that ult time. It's gonna go for a bit of that uh, temporal. That's gonna give him a little bit of healing actually. Breath versus Fenrisa. Fenrisa does have a big cloak of shadows for this burst. He's gonna cloak it immediately. Fractal, that's super unfortunate, man. That cloak just lines up with your burst so well. Get a shot. Fractal may just be going down here, but it looks like Fenrisa is out of steam entirely. Unless I have maybe a big secret technique. Does go to Viscerates. Fractal, does he have anything to follow? That is himself the most, the least amount of damage. Fenrisa is gonna hit him with missiles to follow right after Ring of Frost to follow. Maybe, oh. Does go in with a quick execute at the end. The rogue is just so, 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 so deadly. Versus all these casters, man. There's only so much you can do. That mobility. Blink is one of the more mobile casters too, but they just can match you. Blink for blink. Step for step. Secret technique for BDF actually was able to avoid a lot of it. It's going to go for a full fear onto Fenrisa. This is going for the big go. Stun. Fenrisa get hit with an Ibium. Potentially cast over right after. Yep, big cast over. Big cleave. Soul cleave onto Fenrisa with a blade dance. Oh! My, what was that? I'm sorry, BDM, you just quit every one of those slashes. What was that? Did you just like capture, take away the rogue's armor for a second? What, what was, what, I don't understand. My God, Yasha gonna be up to Team 100, what is that? Okay, rogue was a lot, right? A lot of pressure, lots of mobility, man, but Team 100 just walked in, <laughs> cleaved him down. <laughs> this turned into just deli slices. Blind by the Paladin. Is it going to be enough though? As long as he doesn't get a physical hit onto BD, he may be okay. Does he have a stun going to be immunity for BD? As long as the immunity is there for the entire Templars. Oh, he does avoid the judgment. Oh my god, he avoided it with the immunity, but still stun right after. That's a Paladin with full wings. Still super deadly BD. Better be extra careful. Does back up out of the imprison. Needs himself a little bit of recovery. I don't know what he's gonna do. Stun onto Yasha. Does he have himself any survivability at all though? Just try to get himself metamorphosis and cleave whatever damage he can onto Yasha without touching him, but the bubble is gonna be up. Immunity out. BD needs to find a way to escape it entirely. Does he have any more outs? Demon spawning in, so BD is back to the demon play. Needs to slay the demon, slam that soul. <laughs> Definitely needs to go for a stun onto Yasha. Do you have any damage to follow? Now will be the time to make something happen. Vengeful, trying to avoid any stuns or blinds. In prison. That's a Paladin with some damage coming up. You could be pretty deadly. Fear to follow. Does BD have any more survivability? Has a blur very, very soon. Son of Yasha, I-Beam, definitely needs to go for that blur. Big Blade Dance, does he have enough to survive it here? Next stun could be extra deadly. That's gonna be a massive, massive hammer over your head. You need to take down the Paladin before the hammer takes you out. Just trying to see if you can avoid it as best as possible. Can he do it though? Big Hunt to follow, is not enough? Oh! Shield of Vengeance exposed back out at you with a hammer slamming down. You try to go in for the big takedown at the end. That was the right move move honestly that was the correct move too 
He did not do anything wrong there. He did everything perfectly just now. It's just a tough one. Big explosive to Yasha. The lion onto the hunter, but I think the hunter will just have you down. Oh my god, it's a marksman. Oh, they're actually kind of deadly marksmen. Marksman is actually kind of deadly. Yasha does get himself another set of wings. Big kill shot. Does he have a second one? <laughs> no marksman right now. Does have himself some big crit build. So kill shots do more damage when they crit. Also, you can pick up a couple of talents that buff the damage of aim shot, rapid fire, and all your crit damage. It can be increased by like 8% at least. It's still pretty decent. It's a lot of damage though. Every one of those aim shots can be deadly. Tags are getting riddled with bullets with a big rapid fire. It is going to be pulling this pet back. It's kind of trying to go for a bit of a reset with that one. Going to be dots on the pet. It's actually just going to load up the pet full of dots. Big rapid fire onto Taxi. May be in trouble. The Marksman Hunter actually putting in work and just playing with the pet. So he's not playing that lone wolf chip for some more damage. Whoa, what was that? Get him. I think that was a true shot. So a true shot, he does get himself a buff with. As long as he plays one buff from True Shot, where he gets more crit and crit damage every second for like 20 seconds, up to 20% more crit damage. So I think that's what kind of did there. And he just crit everything. Water Switch of Hunter actually could be kind of good. Let's see how well he does versus Gamer though. Because some classes do counter Marksman, especially in a one in one setting. But having the Steel Trap and the pet and everything, that could give you a bit of a, a break here. Storm Bolt by the Warrior looking for big bleeds into a scatter shot by Ketum. Fear Trinket out of Gamer as he goes in for a knockback onto Gamer, but he does charge right back in. Rapid fire around the corner, Ketum trying to get himself a little bit more held back. Stun as the Gamer blinks, uh, leaps right over to him. He's going to go for a big defensive. Ketum trying to see if he can pull his pet back. Definitely needs to go for that double tap if he can. Double tap. Explosive shot into Gamer. Is it going to be enough though? Big rapid fire around the corner. Massive kill shot. Oh my god. Kiosko does not want to give Ketum an opportunity to escape here at all. Going to be freezing trap waiting for him in case Kiosko wants to close that gap. The pet is going to be around the corner. This is where Ketum is going to turn the attention onto that pet and tell you if he can eliminate it very quickly. Freezing trap onto his main pet. So Ketum does want his pet to break out of CC as soon as possible though. Because that's a stun. That is a survivability that could be helpful. Definitely needs a turtle shell here. Scatter onto Kiosko. Does go for a big buff for his own health bar. Big rapid fire onto Kiosko. Massive kill shot. Staying super aggressive. Big kill shots out of Kiosko too. Turtle shell for Ketum. Does he have anything right here? Freezing trap onto the pet of Kiosko. Ketum at no help whatsoever. Needs a stun onto Kiosko right now. Camo. But it's going to be able to break out of it. Ketum at no help whatsoever. Stun onto Kiosko. But the main pain is going to come right around the corner. Ketum may be in a bit of trouble. Try to see if he can maybe do some damage here. Let's go for first. Kiosko takes a big hit. Honestly, I feel like he could have had him. But Kiosko with a turtle shell waited long enough in there. Just to see if he can go for a bit of a reset. -y. My god, Ketum. Dude, I want to see more marksmen. I know that Marksman apparently are pretty terrifying in the uh, solo queue. Kiosko with a faint death, removing all of the dots, but does whore himself out in the open. That's going to be an opportunity for too fast just to load him up with dots. Kiosko trying to remove the disease. But is that full set of dots on him? No, I think it was just DP on him. DP is a disease. The rest of the dots are actual magical dots. So you can remove DP. Dividing Plague can remove the plague out of his system. But Vampiric Touch and Power Shadow of Death cannot stun around the corner. Too fast to maximize the damage. Fear onto Kiosko. Does he have the big damage potentially? Kiosko looking for a feign death as soon as possible. Mind Blaster follow. Feign death. But looks like all the dots get cleaned up. Kiosko with big kill shots to follow. Too fast may be in trouble. Oh! Kiosko does end up taking him down. Storm Bolt onto the bed. Freeze the trap reflected back onto Kiosko. Wait, Magdev actually has him. Yo, I don't know if Magdev. Oh my god, look at that dance. I don't know if Magdev meant. <laughs> I don't know if Magdev meant to stun the pet. But he stunned the pet, froze.